Fellow Pots, really fast video here. Uh, I, I just really want to make another announcement, bring more awareness to this, because honestly, I think we're losing people like flies. I've had a couple people in the Facebook group and, and they're being honest saying, hey, I've requested a refund. I'm putting this sim away. You know, I'm selling my, my gear. I don't want to do this anymore because this past week has been painful for all of us. There's a couple people out there running AMD that have just been super happy. Their CTDs have stopped. But for the rest of us, it's been a week without volumetric lighting, detail, clarity, crash to desktop, load times, ILS is don't work so we're gonna get into this really fast here and uh, let's see what they've done we're getting a hot fix coming up here so let's talk about it so guys i'm super excited about this and again this is not going to fix everything but hopefully this shows that they're working on it as we take a look at this we see jane the community manager here is talking about they've been watching and reading and listening to all the comments for the last seven days since sim update five and they've been paying attention to it right so this has been really good although they're saying this new hot fix to the hot fix to the sim update might come friday what that's their goal they're saying it's probably going to come out monday maybe somewhere between Actually, they said, uh, if not Friday, Monday, honestly, let's say it might come out Tuesday, really, because there's a lot of issues going on here. But they're addressing a couple of things here. The volumetric lighting is missing. So they're going to be working on that, which is a shader bug. How that made its way through, I don't know. You know, I don't know how this coding stuff works, but it did. LOD popping and stutter when the camera is panning, guys. It's awful. In virtual reality, when you're looking around, you know, and you look to your right, and then all of a sudden things pop into your view, it is it's distracting. It's weird. You don't want that. You know, the low resolution ground texture, whether you're in 2D or VR, but flying at 22,000 feet, you're looking down to the ground and it looks like Minecraft. That's terrible. That's not what we're looking for. You know, we want clarity. We want to be able to look and see the river, see the factory, see the building, see the highway. But even at 22,000 feet, you know, we want to be able to have that clarity. That's why we like the sim. So here are some examples. This, this one right here, it's this Airbus. As we can see, oh, wait, let's go back. It's daytime, 30,000 feet over New York. And you can see the buildings. It looks so good. I mean, this is amazing. Nighttime. Look at that. Looks really good. In the distance, you can also see the LOD has been pushed back. So the lighting, the cities, whatever that is, 100 miles away, it's being drawn in the distance, which is excellent. This final one here, 60,000 feet. It does not look like Minecraft. Um, it could be a little bit sharper, maybe. I mean, but that just depends on the haze or whatever this, in the world at this time. But again, they've, they're, they're working on it. So... You know, a couple more things here real fast. The CTDs, they're aware of it. They're trying to get them fixed. Um, hopefully not for this weekend, but what they're talking about is World Update 6. And, you know, you guys say, well, why are they pushing out World Update 6? Sim Update 5 should not have come out. But the only thing that I can think of is, guys, they're working on a schedule. You know, they have more than a dry erase board. I have a dry erase board here that kind of says the things I want to do for the channel. But they literally have like a boardroom that kind of says, hey, listen, well, this is what we agreed to in the contract. This is what we're bringing out for you guys. And in a timely manner, we're going to try to push this out and do it correctly. But there's a bunch of devs out there working their fingers off, just typing code here, trying to get things done for us as they kind of figure out what's priority, what's not. Again, the devs always get blamed because the software is broken and things happen. And it really, it's unfortunate because they're working hard and they want to put out a good product. But as they fix one thing, another thing breaks. And if you guys aren't aware of this, this sim came from FSX. FSX was written with lines of code that come from 1995. Literally, they've said this. So this was not built from the ground up. You know, it wasn't like a ground up architecture with its own game engine. You know, this was literally built off FSX as a foundation. So they had to convert things over as they did that. You know, things either got lost, you know, weren't really optimized. And not only that, VR was never a plan here. You guys don't realize this, but Bell Geode, when he went out there and met them in Washington for the premiere, he stressed to them to no end. We need VR. There's going to be a whole community that's going to be alienated if you don't do that. I'm going to leave these videos below because this is when I first met Drew. And honestly, you know, we've become great buddies since then. But, you know, his whole story, him sharing his experience out there was amazing. And he pushed for VR from day one. So with that being said, they're working to fix the CTDs. There's so many issues. This is so complex. This is not, you know, a little like one plus one equals two coding. This is like some legit stuff that they're having to figure out. And as they update it for the Xbox, of course, certain things were affected for us and broke. So they're working on it. And in my opinion, this was not a dumbing down of the sim. It's just things are going to break. And I expected this. I really did. So I'm more of an optimist. I wasn't really upset. There's some people out there who really are. But, you know, as we continue here, look at this, guys. They're, they're covering the washed out graphics cloud appearance. You know, Aerosoft CRJ is getting some updates. The incorrect altitudes, which they said on the last hotfix was going to be fixed. You're at flight level, you know, 230, 300. The altitude's wrong. The temperature's wrong. ATC is telling you all sorts of things. So 
there's a lot of things that are fixed here or that they're going to attempt to fix. Now, another thing at the very bottom, you know, they say this is not an exhaustive list. So this is the end all be all. This doesn't mean that this is the only thing that they are working on. Just be aware the clarity, the other stuff that, you know, we really have as an issue. Hopefully they're aware of it right here on this link. I'm going to leave it below. Click it. Join the forums, leave a comment, let them know, you know, you can actually select the little heart right here, right? And kind of say, hey, you know, I, I like this comment or whatever. And those things come up to their, their feed. It's not only the Zendesk, but they're also taking a look at the forums. So they do have some other helpful threads here, guys. And honestly, this is coming out here in the next few days. I'm going to leave some links for you guys for some of the helpful videos that I have seen from people bringing some solutions to you guys. I, I just haven't had the time to kind of, you know, uh, do this myself but honestly there's some other great people out here doing some work and it's helping some of you guys you know it really is i'll leave uh, steve's links below so you guys can check it out i just don't have the time i mean i've been reading in the forums reading on facebook trying to troubleshoot myself and i just haven't found a silver bullet so i really haven't made a video but i'm grateful for those guys that are working on that stuff because it's it's really appreciated again guys check out the links you know they're going to be there below and let's see what comes of this you know um, my first impression was amazing i was just super happy i had a lot of fun as i did Descended. the more flights i did i kind of realized there were some serious issues and since then i've done two really good flights you know the other night i did a flight with drew we flew through Asheville, down south about 30 minutes and then went back to the northwest over the smoky mountains and that was actually an amazing flight just both of us there cruising in the new husky but uh other than that guys i've had so many issues and i kind of had to dumb down my graphics so my 3090 could just run without issues so Let's see what comes up from this, guys. I'm not going to be too upset. You know, I'm not going to be too hard on them. I know they're working really hard on this, and and I know that you guys are frustrated as well. I just ask you to be patient. Hang in there. Don't ask for a refund yet. I mean, really, this this sim will be amazing in a few years, whether you, you know, acknowledge it or not. It will be. So take it easy. Hope everything's good with you guys. I need to finish this video yet again so I can get to bed and go back to work tomorrow. But anyways, guys, uh, I hope this helps. I just want to bring more awareness to this and let you know that, yeah, I'm right there with you, and I know this is kind of going on and it's frustrating. But uh, I don't want to act like this is not happening when it clearly is. So let's hang in there. Be well, guys. Take it easy.